Hey guys, how's it going? Junkzilla here. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you do, consider leaving a like, comment, subscribing. Helps out the channel a ton, and I always appreciate the feedback. A little bit on the slow side this week, but we still have lots of great items to show you. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. Hey, I got two brand new batteries in there, and I didn't give it a charge. What are you guys getting for your mixers? I take 65 for that one. This one right here? Yes, sir. What about this one in the middle? I take the 45. 45? Well, look who I see. I've sold a few of these turkey fryers before, but this guy unfortunately wants too much money for it. He wants about exactly what I would get for it. Uh, this was just one of those sales where they had everything at retail value. I'll take five, six bucks more. We'll definitely take this guy here and this one. Oh, look, too. You got your little. What is yeah. that guy? I don't know. I've never seen that before. We'll take him, too. That's pretty old. Oh, That's a button. Shit. They make buttons and badges with those. Badge on that? Yeah, little buttons. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, I got a ton of stuff. Sure. Sure. Speaker, photo speakers, wire. Yeah. I got a snake in here. Oh, oh it's Yeah. I'm probably gonna do this. Okay. Sorry, excuse me. You know, I told you because they had two of these. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you, uh, uh well, I'll look at the rest when I come yeah. back. Okay, so that up there. Check out what else we've got. How y'all doing this morning? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, all right. Oh, excuse me. Go ahead. Uh, are you selling everything in here or? Um, pretty much. Um, yeah. Okay. That's, that's like a poster phone. Oh, okay. That's right. Here. Like this tablecloth. Oh, okay. I'm gonna keep those. Yeah, yeah, no worries. This, I'm gonna keep this. Um, see what's in there. Pretty light. Yeah, that's, that's just, just, yeah, it's just fabric. Stuff. I'm selling that projector, that old okay. projector there. Um, I got a, a Super 8 right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. There's a 15 plus the 5, so that right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we're evened out now. Yeah, we're right. square on everything. Alright. So right. you're not sure on the... Oh, now, let me, um... They work, it really, they're different colors, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I got, a, I got the wires in these boxes. Give me 35 with the stand. 35 with the stand. Hey, Mikey. It's probably good. There you go. Yeah. Um, does that come with this? That's what it Yeah, with that case okay. right there. Um, I want to make sure you got the wire for it. That's what I was looking for. It should be in here. There it is. The pedal, the wire. How are you doing? Take your wee locker. We just do a motorcycle. Yeah. I'll take 900 for it. So a quick little guide to a few games, almost all sports video games aren't worth picking up. Uh, the one exception of that is NCAA 2K14, that's the last year that they made a college football game. That one on Xbox 360 or PS3 is a good pickup. Pretty much any other sport game except for a very select few isn't really worth looking into. Uh, Might get this. What is it? It's for softball. It's like to help you pitch. Oh, all 
That's cool. I didn't even see that thing. It is neat. I've never seen one of those before. Let's look. Uh, do you have change by chance? Yep. Okay. Good test. I have it in my Jeep. I don't know if it's any better. Oh, uh, it's be fine for you. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's my Under books. Look that up. That's a big surf. See what's in here. Good morning. Hello. Hi there. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Videotaping us? Just the yard sale. Oh. <laughs> not, not you guys. <laughs> yeah, we have a we bought sell online, so we just uh, play yeah, show we... we find something and then uh, you know how much we pay for it, we'll end up selling it for right. how long it takes to sell. Yeah. But every occasion we'll find some home runs and yeah. we found something I paid a five bucks for and it sold for three thousand. Holy moly, I what didn't was know. It? it was a train car, a little train car. Really? Yep, I couldn't believe it, and I felt bad because I didn't remember where I got her. I would have gave that person more money because I yeah, had no yeah. idea that it yeah. was that good. You always see people with paintings that that ends up happening too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, most of the stuff I just don't know. Yeah, know? yeah. And some, I mean, with the internet, you can look up all the same right. thing, but yeah. it's hard. Yeah. What do you think of that? It'd be fun to do. It's cool. Yeah. Do you guys use that a lot? Um, I did, and then I had my ankle replaced, so I'm out oh. of the I'm out of the oh, goodness. business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wish I could do more of it, but my uh, oh, foot that's just won't let me. But the difference is, heavy means that it does Goes better. better yeah. yeah. The inflatable ones now, they're junk. Well, there's no way I could get on one of those. It would fall right over. I mean, it, it doesn't hold you. That paddle alone. I'm sure he's going to tell you that that paddle alone is... Was it an expensive paddle? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's all carbon, yeah. yeah. And it's right. only taped because when you race, you have to be able to find your things because they're sitting out. So that's, it's just oh. my, it's only there to oh, identify okay. it. It's not like it's broken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I've seen that. I just never knew why yeah. people did that. What's that? The tape uh, one tape. is because when you race, yeah, you set all your stuff out. In there. Oh, yeah. So Same you sort. actually race people? Is that? Yeah, oh, wow. at one point <laughs> I did, yeah. That is a really nice paddle. Well, the one I bought for our kayaks, Mikey, I paid like 300 bucks for my paddle. Wow, really? I'm sure that's what that cost. Yeah, um, it's 285. Yeah, but you know, a guy told me when I bought my kayaks, he tried to sell me this expensive paddle. I was dude, I'm not gonna buy that. He goes, this makes more difference than the kayak you bought from me. And he was absolutely right. Huge difference. God, I couldn't believe it. I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. Is that yours? This? Yeah. yeah. The paddle board I'm expecting to get about a hundred bucks out of and then same with the paddle. Uh, I have the paddle board at 140 right now and the paddle for a hundred. So gonna make a good little profit margin there. Usually I shoot for a little higher, but once the dollar amounts get high enough, you don't really have to shoot for such a high profit margin. All right, starting off the comps here, we have this opalescent glassware that my dad found at a yard sale. This is actually lumped in with another purchase, so we got it free of charge. Looks like these can be worth anywhere up to $60, so great little pickup there. And then we have this West Marine inflatable belt life jacket. Looks like this can be worth up to $30, and this was thrown in with the paddleboard deal that I did already sell the paddleboard on. And then my dad got this Tonka truck for $5. Looks like this is worth about $45 to $50. And then we also picked up this Commando Bot 3 toy. Looks, we picked this up for $5. Looks like this can be worth around $45 with free shipping. So nice little pickup there. And then I picked up this Cuisine Art Frozen Yogurt Ice Cream Sorbet Maker. Picked that up for $5. Looks like new in the package. They sell for about $25. And then my dad picked up these two really cool vintage war pieces here pick these up on consignment from a friend of his the woodman's pal military fighting knife looks like it's worth between about 85 to 90 and then the bayonet varies depending on the model and make and how old it is but really cool little consignment pickup there and then dadzilla picked up this qsc 
power amplifier. It's in a crown package, but it's a QSC. Looks like that will go for around 150. And then these Ford OEM headlights looks like they're worth around $70 a piece. And then we also picked up this Chauvet four bar LED stage light with tripod. Looks like this could go for as much as 390. We picked this up for $35. So this is gonna be a great little profit margin on this item here. And then I picked up this Lasermark Wizard Rotary Laser, picked this up for $30. Looks like this could go for as much as 220 with free shipping. Uh, so great little pickup here from the auction. And then I picked up this Mach 6 coin sorter. It does have an error message of some kind. It isn't shimmying the change into the conveyor belt to sort them. It looks like working, it could be around 1200 and for parts, at least four. Picked that up for $50. And then me and Dadzilla went, on, went in on this handler jewelry polisher together. Picked that up at the auction for $100. It also came with this little multimeter. We're not quite sure what we're gonna get out of that yet but the handler jewelry polishers look like people are asking all around four to 450 right now. So we're gonna do very well on that. And then I got this softball power drive at a yard sale for $10. I have, there's one sold on eBay with the tow tunnel for 152. I do not have the tow tunnel, so I deducted about $30 off of that and I'm asking 120 right now. And then Dadzilla picked up this Cablematic terminal tool for a dollar. looks like this will go for around $20. So nice little pickup there. And then I picked up this Master Cool Raptor refrigerant leak detector, picked this up for $30 at the auction, and I already sold this for 115 plus shipping. And then dad picked up a lot of six of these Vulcan mechanical gaming keyboards, got them all for $10 a piece. Looks like they're gonna go for around 40 bucks brand new. And then I picked up this DreamBot L10 Pro for $40, looks like this will go for around 170 new in the box. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. If you liked the channel, please consider leaving a like, comment, subscribing. It helps out the channel a ton, and I always appreciate your guys' comments. I hope to see you guys in the next video.